Welcome to the Tool Review Channel. Today we're taking a look at the Klein Tools Long Nose Wire Stripping and Crimping Pliers. Now the model number for this is 1009. And to start off the video here, we'll take a start, we'll take a look at the handles. As you see, they are the double dipped handles with the yellow and the gray handles. You have the Klein Tools stamped on there as well, the Klein Tools name. You have Made in the USA, and then you have your model number right there as well. And then coming to the back side, it's pretty plain on the back side, no stamping or anything. And now we'll come up to the business end of the tool. This is where the crimping dies are. You can see you have Made in the USA laser etched on there, onto there. And then you have the G07, I believe is the manufacturing code for when the tool was made. And then you have patent pending laser etched on there as well. And then you have your different crimping, di different crimping dies for your different terminals. So you got insulated and insulated and non-insulated down here. You have two wire looping holes right there. And then coming up to the tool, you can see the Klein Tools name laser etched onto there, and you have some safety warnings laser etched onto the surface as well. Now the cutting edge on here is only meant for cutting copper only, so don't go try to cut steel wire with this or any harder wires than copper, because uh, you're most likely going to end up damaging that cutting edge. Um, and you can see right here on this side is your solid wire, so you can strip 10 to 20 gauge solid wire. And on the other side, you can see your scale for stranded wire, which is 12 to 22 gauge. And then coming to the top of the plier, you have a nice, uh, some nice teeth. So if you needed to grip onto a ticket terminal, or you need to, you know, pull some wire insulation off the wire, or whatever you needed to use the little tiny pair of pliers for up there, you can use that for. That's what you can use those for right there. And then coming to the back side of the tool. As you can see, everything is stamped onto the backside of the tool, and you have a little stop right there. So if the laser etching, which does tend to wear off over time, um, does wear off and you need to use the backside as a reference, you are able to do that since everything is stamped onto the back of the tool. So we're going to go ahead and zoom out here. And we'll get to some of the functionality of the tool. So as you can see, this tool does open and close relatively easy. Now, um, Unlike some tools, uh, this tool you can't, there's no adjustment screw on the back, so you can't adjust it. So it just kind of is how it is. Um, but I'm sure after a little bit while of use, you're going to be able to get the tool to open and close relatively super easy. Right now it's super smooth, so there's nothing really to worry about. But uh, I've seen a couple of my coworkers have these, and theirs are super loose, but they, you know, they've been using them for a long period of time. So now we'll get to some of the functionality of the tool. So we're going to first start off with by bringing in some 18 gauge solid wire. So for the 18 gauge solid wire, it is going to be the second hole from the top. So we'll go ahead and insert the wire into there and we'll go ahead and see how easy it is to pull off the insulation. Uh, and we will go ahead and cut that 18 gauge solid wire, no problem whatsoever. As you can see, cuts through it, no problem. And it strips that insulation off that 18 gauge solid wire, no problem. So now we're going to bring in some 18 gauge stranded wire, which is going to be the third hole. Um, so right here for the the stranded wire, and you, as you can see right there, you're able to pull off that 18 gauge stranded wire insulation, no problem whatsoever. And we'll go ahead and cut through that guy as well. As you can see, cut through it, no problem whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and put that off to the side. And now we'll bring in some 14 gauge solid wire. So for the 14 gauge solid wire, it is going to be the third hole from the top. So we'll go ahead and insert that guy right there. And as you can see right there, you are able to pull off that insulation, no problem whatsoever. And you should be able to cut through this no problem as well. So we're going to go ahead and strip this again. So we'll pull off that insulation. Now we're going to set that off to the side and we'll bring it back here in a little bit. Um, so that was the 14 gauge solid wire. So now we're going to bring in some 14 gauge stranded wire. So for the 14 gauge stranded wire, it is that second hole from the bottom. So we'll go ahead and insert that guy into there. And as you can see right there, you are able to pull off that insulation, no problem whatsoever. And we'll see how easy we can cut through that. And as you can see, that cutting edge is able to cut through that no problem. But again, we'll go ahead and insert that guy in there and strip off that insulation. And we will bring this guy back in in a little bit. Um, so we'll go ahead and take that out of there. And we will bring in our 12 gauge stranded wire right here. So for the 12 gauge stranded wire, it's that very bottom hole. So you just put it in there. And as you can see right there, ooh, I kind of did damage the wires there. Kind of was a little bit aggressive there, but it is able to pull off the insulation, no problem. So go ahead and cut that off. And we'll try that again without damaging the wires. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that in there. And as you can see right there, you're able to pull off that insulation, no problem whatsoever. And I didn't damage the wires this time. So go ahead and set that guy off to the side pull out this little piece of insulation from the pliers and we will bring in some 12 gauge solid wire. So for the 12 gauge solid wire, it's going to be the same as that 14 gauge um, stranded wire. So as you can see right there, you are able to pull off that insulation from that solid wire, no problem. And didn't end up damaging that uh, wire at all. So we'll go ahead and cut that guy and we'll strip 
a decent amount of the insulation off. Now let's say you needed to bend some wire. You can either use you can use either hole, and all you have to do is insert the wire, uh, and then you are able to make a nice little loop with it right there. So I'll go ahead and cut that guy off, and we'll go ahead and strip this guy one more time, and we'll set that guy off to the side, and we will clear all the stuff off of the background, um, so we're not staring at it. And we'll bring in our final wire right here, which is some 18.5 thermostat wire. And I'm just trying to see if we can cut through the um, all five wires. And there's a little piece of insulation that always, you know, some pliers are able to cut through it. Some pliers aren't. Uh, so go ahead and cut through that. And as you can see right there, that's a little piece of insulation I'm talking about. So the cutting edge definitely uh, isn't strong enough to cut through this little fiber insulation. But it can cut through all of those wires there on the inside. No problem whatsoever. As you saw, we were able to do it twice there as well. So we'll go ahead and put that off to the side and we'll bring in all of the wires that we just stripped off the insulation and we'll bring in our 18 gauge wire right here we'll go ahead and strip that guy off one more time and we will go ahead and test the crimping function on here so we are going to bring in a little terminal right here go ahead and put that on the wire probably stripped a little much off that i don't think we need that much wire for this terminal so we'll go ahead and trim that guy off and we'll put that little terminal on there and since this is an insulated terminal, we can either use the insulated only or the insulated non-insulated. I'm just going to use the insulated non-insulated. So this is an 18 gauge uh, wire. So we're just going to go ahead and put it in that very bottom die uh, right there. And we'll squeeze down on it. And as you can see right there, it did a nice crimp onto that wire. Uh, it put a nice crimp onto the terminal and it crimped the wire fairly tight on there. As you can see, it can't really pull it off. So it does work fairly well with the 18 gauge solid wire. So we bring back in that 18 gauge stranded wire again. Should have pre-stripped this already, um, but we'll go ahead and line this up uh, again with the uh, correct stripping hole. And we will strip a little bit of that insulation off and we'll put a terminal on there and see how well we can crimp the stranded wire to the terminal. Um, go ahead and spin it around a little bit and get it to go into the terminal. Um, and we will put it back into that same uh, crimping die and we will squeeze down on it and as you can see right there we pretty much smashed the terminal and i was able to pull it off right there that's most likely my bad um so we'll go ahead and set that off to the side and now we will bring in some 14 gauge solid wire right here and we'll go ahead and crimp a terminal onto there so we'll go ahead and put the terminal on there get that little piece of wire out of there so for the 14 gauge we're going to be using that second crimping die so we'll go ahead and line that guy up and we'll crimp down onto there and as you can see it is a little bit loose to pull off uh, it could just be these terminals or i just crimped it on their bed um, so we'll go ahead and throw that guy off to the side and set that wire off to the side and now we'll bring in some 12 gauge solid wire right here so we'll go ahead and put that terminal onto there and we will line it up with the correct um stripping or crimping die and we'll go ahead and crimp down onto there and ooh, able to pull it off there as well um, so go ahead and set that off to the side and we will bring in some 14 gauge strand of wire see if we can have some better results here um, so we'll go ahead and put that into there i'm not sure if i haven't put any crimp in the wrong place or what the deal is but we'll go ahead and crimp down onto that make a nice crimp right there uh, and as you can see we are able to crimp onto that um to that stranded wire with the 14 gauge uh no problem whatsoever so we'll go ahead and put him off to the side and we'll bring in we will bring in a 12 gauge stranded wire and we'll bring in a terminal for that so we'll go ahead and put that guy on there and see if we can have better results here um so we'll go ahead and line that up and we'll go ahead and crimp down on that i think i may have messed that crimp up as well uh, but as you can see the terminal is pretty much on there uh, i'm pretty sure i messed up the crimps on that one uh, but it will crimp onto the wires uh, you just got to do it right i sh for some reason struggled with that one uh for a little bit um but overall this is definitely a nice um pair of wire strippers from klein uh, it is nice it is a little bit longer of a pair um especially when you you know if you have to reach around into an electrical box or whatever uh and you don't really have you know aren't able to get a big pair of pliers in there you can reach in there with these um and if you're going to do that make sure the power's off um to that box before you go reaching around in there messing around with the wires um but as you can see these are a fairly nice pair of wire strippers um from Klein tools now i'm, I'm almost positive i messed up the crimps and i don't have any other terminals around here to um test it out again so the crimpers as far as i know you know they do work if you know what you're doing uh and you do it correctly i just you know for some reason put it 
put them all in the wrong place or whatever. Um, but overall, definitely a nice pair of wire strippers from Klein Tools. Now, I will leave a link to these guys down in the description below. I'll take you right over to Klein's website if you'd like to pick yourself up a pair of these. I picked mine up at my local uh, City Electric store. Uh, I'm not really sure how much the price was on there. Um, kind of forget. But that is where I picked mine up, but I will leave a link in the description below if you want to pick these up. You can find either a local retailer to you, or you can find, you know, an online retailer that has them as well if you'd like to pick these up. But that's all I have for this video. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And if you are new to the channel and you would like to see more content like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button. But that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.